All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. This is my new Ruger 1022 carbine. If you guys like the content you're seeing on the channel, please like and subscribe. Definitely helps us out quite a bit. So today we're gonna to be talking about this new rifle that I just got. So it's, it's a Ruger 1022. It's a semi-automatic 22 rifle. The reason why I, I got this rifle is because one, I don't have a dedicated small game 22 rifle. I think everybody who, who shoots, who hunts, um, who has property should have a 22 rifle in their arsenal. They're just very versatile. They're, they're great guns for planking. They're also great for pest management or hunting small game. And that's the reason why I got this. So primarily this is gonna be a rabbit gun as well. You know, the ammo, 22 long rifle ammo is, is, is really cheap and affordable. So you can, you can shoot it all day and, and not break the bank. The reason why I went with the Ruger 1022, I was looking at some other models. You know, for the price, you really can't beat this setup. These things have been tested, you know, over many years, and it's probably the most popular 22 long rifle in the country. You know, and for good reason. One, they're affordable. I got this for $350. Two, they're semi-automatic, so that's, you know, definitely good for hunting and good for planking. This gun did come with the 10 round uh, standard magazine, which is this right here. I also went ahead and bought a 25 round magazine, a Ruger 20, BX 25 magazine, just because why not, right? Why not get a 25 um, and make it more capable? So, so for rabbit hunting, you know, I did want to have a scope on it so I can get some more precise hits, you know, hopefully headshots. This is a mid-powered variable optic. This is the primary arms 2.5 to 10 with the Raptor reticle. Now this optic is probably overkill for a 22 long rifle. I had it on uh, you know, a 5.56 AR precision recce build. It's made for 5.56. It has you know, bullet drop compensation, it has windage. It has all the, you know, the fancy bells and whistles. Um, that you would use for precision shooting with like a 5.56. I just wasn't using that precision 5.56 gun. It was just kind of sitting in the bag. I didn't have time to drive up to two hours to find ranges that had, you know, 500 yard targets or any, you know, really anything over 100. If I have this scope kind of sitting around not being used, why buy another scope for this when I can just put this on? The scope is two and a half to 10, so Definitely going to be getting some headshots on the rabbits with this bad boy. So looking forward to that for sure. So for ammo, I got, I got two different types of ammo for this right now. I got this CCI. This is 22 long rifle suppressor ammo. Subsonic hollow point. This is the 45 grain, 970 feet per second. I got this just for kind of plinking and shooting around. It's supposed to be quieter if with the 45 grain and 970 feet per second, it's definitely slower and a, a bigger round, so it's it's not gonna be quite as loud. So just got that for plinking, really. The other ammo I got was the CCI Meat Eater. This is Copper 22. It's, it's, um, it's, it's supposed to be for small game. It's 21 grain, which is a much lighter bullet, copper, and the feet per second is 1850. Uh, it's about double the velocity of this subsonic ammo here. This is probably better for hunting. It's a smaller round, so it's it's gonna not destroy the meat as much. So for rabbit, probably gonna go with this meat eater copper. Please leave some comments in the comment section. Curious to hear about what, what kind of ammo you guys are running through this, uh, what kind of ammo it likes, what you use for hunting, what you use for target shooting, what you use for plinking, all that kind of stuff. Definitely wanna hear, hear your thoughts on that. In the future, I may look into getting a, a slide-on threaded adapter for the end of this barrel, and that way I can put a suppressor on this. I would probably either buy a dedicated 22 long rifle can for this, or if it's just you know for shooting really occasionally, then I could just use my 5.56 can on here. I know a lot of people uh, recommend that you don't do that just because 22 long rifle is a, is a, a dirty round and 
if you're shooting a lot through a 5.56 can, it's gonna really foul it up and it could cause some issues. So if I were to do that, it would just be for, you know, maybe a few rounds here and there, pest control, that kind of stuff. So there it is. Uh, I'll probably end up getting a sling on this so I can carry it through the woods. Um, and I may get an adapter for right here so I can put uh, one of my bipods on there. If I'm gonna be doing some precision target shooting or anything like that, it'd be good to have that option. All right guys, so this is my Ruger 1022 carbine. Uh, once I get it out shooting and hunting and zeroed and everything like that, I'm gonna come back and do another review on how I feel about it and how it shoots. So definitely excited to get into it with this one. Um, thanks for tuning in, guys.